Hey guys, welcome back to another video from HP Tuners. My name is Steve. Today we're going to be talking about all things widebands. A wideband is an O2 sensor. It's hands down one of the most important tools needed to properly tune a vehicle, whether it's stock, highly modified, naturally aspirated, or boosted. Here at HP Tuners, we sell two widebands from Ballinger Motorsports and another from AEM. You can seamlessly integrate with our diagnostics and tuning software using our ProLink and ProLink Plus cables. So, we'll take a look at the benefits and features of these options already available on our website. First, let's define what a wideband sensor actually is and why you need one if you're tuning your car or someone else's car. A wideband oxygen sensor, also called a wideband O2 sensor, measures the ratio of oxygen to fuel in the exhaust exiting your engine, otherwise known as the air-fuel ratio. Your vehicle should already be equipped with stock oxygen sensors, referred to as narrowband O2 sensors. But when you start modifying your vehicle, you need to accurately measure the AFR at wide open throttle, which requires a broader range of measurement. Whether your build is boosted or naturally aspirated, you'll need to measure the AFR those targets will vary depending on the modifications done to the vehicle. If you're working with or building a high performance vehicle for drag racing or other motorsports, having an accurate, high quality and responsive wideband O2 sensor is super important to properly and safely tune your vehicle. Once you install the wideband of your choice into your vehicle, you can log that data in our VCM scanner and then use the data to build your vehicle's custom tune in VCM Editor. We now have two cables available, the ProLink and the ProLink Plus. If you have an MPVI2 or MPVI2 Plus, you'll need the Pro Feature Set and the ProLink to do this. However, for the MPVI2 Plus and newer generation devices, you'll need the ProLink Plus cable. Now that you understand the basics of what a wideband sensor is, and its importance in the tuning process, let's go through the three options we sell and why you might want to pick one over the other. From Ballinger Motorsports, we carry their AFR 500 CAN air fuel monitor kit and their AFR 500 V2 kit, both with an NTK sensor. The AFR 500 uses analog output voltage to hook to the ProLink cable. The AFR 500 CAN uses a splitter, so you don't have to use the ProLink to bring the AFR data into the VCM scanner. We also carry the X-Series AFR gauge from AEM. Out of the few options that we offer, this is the most budget-conscious sensor. And much like the AFR 500 CAN, it uses the splitter to bring the AFR data into the VCM scanner without using the ProLink Plus cable. The main differences of these three AFR gauges that we sell are the O2 sensor used and the way the gauge exports the data to our software. I hope you found this wideband explanation helpful in making the best decision for your vehicle application. See the links in the description box below to research and purchase any of the widebands we discussed today, as well as the link for the ProLink Plus installation video. If you have any questions, please comment below and we'll get in touch. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.